Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get unlimited studs in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So, this glitch or cheat is pretty intensive, or it's just like, it has a lot of requirements. But once you do all the requirements and set it up perfectly, you can do this as much as you want. So, in this video, I'm basically just going to break it down for you step by step. And this is a raw gameplay footage, so it is just going to be like... A little longer than my normal edited videos and I'm actually recording this after I did the glitch but I just wanted to preface like this is a longer video but once you do these steps you'll be able to get unlimited studs to buy whatever you want and Lego Skywalkers Lego Star Wars the Skywalker saga so with that being said enjoy the video and make sure you let me know what you think in the comment section below peace all right in this video I'm gonna show you how to get unlimited amount of studs or Over here. money in lego star wars the skywalker saga and i just want to say normally my videos are kind of edited and fast paced and this is video is going to be more of a gameplay style just because with the nature of this glitch and the nature of this cheat or, or really kind of whatever you want to call it you know there's some specific things that you got to see how how it works so it's a little bit harder to just edit this and you kind of understand what you see how the glitch works so as you can see right now I got two characters and these are two Empire characters we're gonna have to get some Jedi characters to do this glitch and um, yeah you have to have Naboo unlocked and Naboo is this little town so it's uh, in the first episode of Star Wars and with that being said let's go ahead and change our character so you press the select menu and I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch I don't know what you guys play on but Nintendo Switch is it for me, and I'm gonna have to select Tarkin here. And I'm gonna change him. I need a Jedi. So I'm gonna go over to Hero or Jedi, and I'm gonna select any Jedi that you want. Um, I'm gonna change Anakin and get a. Uh, oh, I can't get the cool costume. So I'm gonna get Qui-Gon Jinn. And let him swap. A call for aid shows courage. And not I'm going to get a evil character. Um, and once again, this video is teaching you how to get unlimited studs. If you want unlimited, basically, unlimited money in Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. So, I have Darth Maul. The time has come and, for me to return. <coughs> sorry. Um, now I am going to turn off the subtitles because I'm going to have subtitles on this YouTube video and I know the subtitles are going to be popping up on on the screen too. I don't want that to be, to be um, distracting. So, there should be a... Um, there should be something around here where I can change that. Now, that's one of my gripes with this game is just the... Uh, the menus it's kind of tough to navigate at time um, display options so mini map um, off oh, we can leave that on actually there should be a subtitle somewhere um, all right you know what um, we'll, just, we'll forget it we'll just do we'll just deal with the subtitles because I don't want to and this isn't a subtitle review, this is a studs review. So, let's get on with the video. Collecting studs. So, the first thing you need to do is get a Sith character and a Jedi character that both have Jedi abilities. Now, as a Jedi, you can pick things up. As you can see here, we can move things around. And you can also throw things. Like, see these birds right here? Yeet! Alright, so... Now, we go ahead on with the glitch. So, you're going to get into this town, Naboo. And if I pull up the map for you, I can kind of show you the galaxy. Naboo, this is it. This is the town that you want to travel to. Now, obviously, I haven't unlocked some of these other planets. So, this probably could work on some of these other planets. But, I just want to show you on Naboo because, you know, I know this works every time. So, see this guy sitting on this bench? You can actually pick up items when people are sitting on them. So that's going to be a big thing to know about when we kind of get into the glitch. So I got to find this building in this island and it's important, you know, as you're going over there, just make sure you're collecting studs because see how, see how my studs are going on the top. Like I got my 90,331. As I collect more studs before I do this glitch, it's just going to let me create more and more. Um, so it's like 
it's like kind of like a um, you know the more studs you collect before you do the glitch is just like the more easy it is to get more more studs so like I said you're gonna come over here and we got to go to the top of the castle over here so I just kind of got to run around and find the entry point and it's kind of a, a little tricky to find is, is why I'm, I'm showing you this raw gameplay because I don't want you to like see me do it there and then not know how to get there so I started pretty much at the starting point of this level and remember just collect studs as you go along the way and it's important that you get one of these blocks right here so as you see here I can lift this drop this I'm trying to drop this right by this cobble crystal or by this uh, you know Lego block so I'm gonna try to come over here and you gotta you gotta get this too if, if you don't this get this child's it won't play work. to me child's play toys with our point just said and drop that so now we got this brick right here so I should be able to jump oh whoa pretty no clear water there so I should be able to measures. jump onto this these things don't float very well but they do work oh almost there um so like I said you just gotta collect one of these um you might not even need two if you have it that's why you need a Jedi um or a Darth person because you can jump far oh I'm, all, I'm so close. Once I get this, we'll be we'll be good to go. So let's try a different way. Oh. Okay. So do this glitch. Jump. Jump. Double jump. Oh. Okay. Um. Come back on this side. It's probably just the easiest. Sorry, I did this glitch earlier, and then like once you leave the island, it resets. So you gotta if you want to do it multiple times, you gotta set it up multiple times. So I'm so close. So all I really need to do is move this other buoy, probably like right next to this. Boom. Okay, boom, perfect. So catch. Uh, these things are so unstable. And that's why I make. That's why this is the best Lego game, just because it's real physics. Oh, we we're so close. So you just gotta jump real quick, like tap, double tap. Um, now, if you want to get to the next point. Basically, all you gotta see if you just, uh, oh, oh, okay, we were so close. If you, if, basically, I'm trying to get this kyber brick. So now that you know that, if you want to in the YouTube video, if you're watching this YouTube video, you can just fast forward to like get this kyber brick so I can continue on with the glitch. Um, but I should get it right here. There we go. Let's go. Okay. So now that you got the the brick, you see that it just auto saved in the bottom right hand corner. So now we're go ahead. We're go ahead and um, gonna be good to the glitch. And so the cable crystal, cable crystal block, whatever that is, pops up. So now I just gotta go get on top of the building to do the glitch. So once again, this is the way that you go to get to the building. You see this thing right here? Oh, that's not one. It. Um, it's it's this one. So you gotta climb over here, find the entry point of the building to climb up to, and um, then you'll climb up to the top. And that's actually not, it's this, it's, I think it's, oh yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh. All these buildings kind of look the same. So this is the building that you want to climb up. It's going to have this white ladder right here. As you can see um, where we are on the map, you can look around and kind of take these in as landmarks. So you can see all this stuff. I wonder if you can go over in that grass over there. Do you think you can? I don't think you can. That would be so cool if you could, though. Let's see. Actually, we'll try that later. I don't want to. I don't want to get distracted from the mission. Okay. So, like I said, here is the the place where you can um get the unlimited unlimited uh bricks or not bricks but unlimited studs this building right here and i just want to show you the whole circle of it so you can kind of look around if you're on your map and you see some of these buildings surrounding it you know where you're at so this is the building the square building 
with the white ladder. So now what we need to do is there will be a person standing right here that has a mission. I'm considering enrolling at one of Feed's many universities to study politics. And he says, I'm considering enrolling in one of Feed's many universities to study politics. I've spent politics. my life campaigning for Gungan rights. And I want to finally I've spent make my a life difference. campaigning for Gungan and rights. And I finally have been a bit. So it really doesn't matter what he says, but basically when he does that, he unlocks some sort of glitch for you. Um, so I need my other character to come up here too. Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, let me get him up here. So now, these guys are basically going to go up here and it's like a, it's like they're going to battle for the studs, uh, essentially. So, basically, we're going to climb up and wire up here. There's a, there's a, um, before we get to the top, you got to collect these studs. Because here's the thing, um, on this platform, like this platform that I'm standing on, you have to collect all the studs that are on this platform. So all these ones in the plants, we gotta destroy all these because if there's studs left on this platform, it will not work. So, and what I mean by this platform, I don't mean anything beyond this square. Like the way the game's structured, like this is its own little block right here. So I just gotta make sure I destroy all these plants so there's no studs left on this one, you know, like cylinder block or whatever you want to call it. This little square routine. Um, any Patreons? Oops. Any, any uh, NPC characters? Yeah, you want to get them to run off. You don't want them on the platform. You just want it to be empty with no studs. So now that all the studs are gone, yeah, all the studs are gone, now we can get start going back up top. And if this guy tries to come back, Kill him. Or not to kill him. You'll be good. So, let's take this right here. Now, this is important. You take. We just move this from off the platform. We're gonna bring this on, and um, should be able to. Should be able to throw it up top. I'm gonna have to back up over here. So don't worry about overthrowing it on the building. Like there's like a barrier up there where it'll stop. So you just want to aim over the building. We're going to climb up and throw it. Perfect. Okay. So that'll be up there when we get up there. And if it, even if it's not, it's okay. Um, but basically now we're going to climb up the ladder and we've collected the studs on this side. Yep. We've collected all the studs in that room. So we're just gonna get climbing up this ladder and we gotta make sure our buddy's coming with us. So he's gonna come and climb up this ladder too. We go up this ladder together to the top where we can do this glitch. So don't worry buddy, I'm coming. Where are you at? Come on brother. I'm not your brother, I'm your enemy. Oh no, I'm gonna get you. Oh stinky, stinky indeed. Okay, so now we're on top, and like I said in the beginning, we need to remove all the studs from the platform, so collect all the studs, and there we go. So, I'm going to do this, do that, and if they fall off, ooh, do not let them fall off, and if they do fall off, just collect them. Um, we'll come back and talk to this guy in a little bit, which will help us. Oh no. So if you do come down here, you are stuck on the bottom. So what I'm gonna have to do is climb back up. I gotta climb up this ladder two times. Oh my gosh. And if you jump, it oh, well if you jump, it doesn't work. And this is kind of one of my gripes with the game is the slow climbing. Um, even though it is pretty beautiful. Oh my goodness. He got him back. I got you back, son. I got you back. You ran my butt into me. Okay, so we got one up there. And now we gotta get the second one up there. And all the way to the top. Okay, there we go. Now, let's go ahead and make sure we got everything down. Okay. So, now that we're up top, we need a bomber. So I'm going to. Go here, go to 
Um, extra? Should just be like, I just need like a, um, a guy that has bombs, which is like a stormtrooper. So, I think Mando probably would work too. So let's try him. So we got Mando. He's not working. Um, we should go down to all characters here and go through. I can't see the characters. Why can't I see them? There we go, there's a the stormtroopers on the fifth floor. Okay, so we got our stormtrooper here, ready to go. So we should be able to throw a bomb. One of these guys throws bombs. Not this guy though. Try this. And if it doesn't throw bombs, there's another way around it, so no worries on that end. Whoops. Okay, maybe it's just in story mode they can throw bombs. So now that you've got on top of the building, you we need to talk to. We need to talk to um. Ibaka. And this is like with the encryption text. So now that we got the encryption text, we need to um, select this character and we need to change him back to a Jedi like, like we had in the beginning. And this is this is where we can do the glitch right here. So um, go ahead and get back to Qui-Gon Jinn. Now remember in a call for in the third episode courage, of the Star Wars series chronologically, when um, yeah. when uh, Obi Wan was saying to Anakin like, "You are the chosen one." It's kind of similar to that. So you're gonna get Qui Gon Jinn to yeah. jump on this bar. Now you're gonna switch to Darth Maul, and you're gonna be like, and, and it's also like. Um, Oh yes, see the dark side can climb up. And this is very resemblant of that scene. And it's also resemblant of um, Lion King when it's like, uh, Simba, let me tell you something. Or when, he, when um, not, not Lion King, but uh, when it's like the, the dad and his name is um, Mufasa. And he's like, Mufasa, and he's like, Scar, help me, Scar! The buffalo are running down below. You must save me. And he's like, Simba or Mufasa, I long live the king. And he hits him, and he's like, No! And he's like, 